Big honor for LL Cool J this weekend. Um, the Congressional Black Caucus was honoring him uh, at their annual legislative conference. Uh, and he actually got um, a mention from the president. President Biden was there, and it did not go well. I'll just say that. Um, look, there's been a lot made about President Biden's gaffes. Um, it is the big conversation now about, is he too old? Should there be uh, an age limit? Should there be you know, testing of mental faculties? I don't think this is all that. I, it starts as just, he uh, misread the teleprompter. A gaffe. It, it's a gaffe. But a lot of people feel that he should have known, even without looking at a teleprompter, you know LL Cool J's name. He's been around for, what, 40-something years he's been uh, you know, in the spotlight. So here is how the intro went down. It's not just his name. But afterward, he refers to him using a term or word that a is, trope. yes, is really, really bad in the black community. But here's what he said. The two of the great artists of our time representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip hop in America, LLJ Cool J. Uh, <laughs> by the way, that boy's got, that man's got biceps bigger than my thighs. I think he's been, and MC Light, both of you, thank you. We got MC Light's name right. I guess we should be happy about that. Um, it has definitely stirred some, some strong opinions. Uh, Charlemagne the God, in fact, uh, weighed in on this this morning and gave the president and his writers the donkey of the day. <laughs> Is Look, we get it, right? He, here's a very old man who doesn't have 100% of his faculties anymore. Should we so, say it any softer than that? Should we pretend it doesn't exist? Should we say that this guy still has it? Because he clearly doesn't. Biden has always been gaff prone, but he's never said things like this before. And yeah. it's worrisome to everybody, regardless of your political affiliation. 